My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, damn right. It's better than your all aboard boat, Misha. What's the story in Balamori, wouldn't you like to know? Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'm going to Ibiza. I'm going to Ibiza. Camera, focus on me. I'm the most important one. Guys! I'm here! Buckle your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. We're in for a winner. Hello world and welcome back to my channel. What do we think about making Hello World my little intro? Because I feel like everyone has their little intro and I've never got my little intro. So maybe that's gonna be Hello World. I don't know if anyone else has that. Let me know if somebody else already has Hello World because I don't wanna copy some other YouTuber's intro. Anyway, we are gonna get on with today's video and that is a very exciting haul. I wanna get back into testing out some more unknown brands and some brands that you guys always request to see hauls from. And today is rebellious fashion. Now rebellious fashion for me, also I have scissors because I'm cutting open the bag, not because I'm some creepy criminal. Anyway, I'm gonna put them down just for safety measures. So rebellious fashion is actually a brand that I have worked with literally at the beginning of my social media Korea, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And it's really funny to see how they've grown and how their stuff has really, from what I could see on the website, improved. So back when I used to work with them, they just didn't have that much on the website, whereas now they are slaying the game. So when they contacted me and asked if I could do a video with them and we could work on a haul, I was like, yes, please, and thank you. I know that my subscribers would absolutely love to see a reasonably priced, high street, un lesser known brand haul that is rebellious fashion. So yes, we're gonna be testing it out. Just because I am working with them on this video it does not mean I will be untrue. That's not a word. Bias with my opinion. I promise to always stay 100% humble, original, real, and all that malarkey. Never think just because a video is sponsored that I'll be saying something that I do not believe because that would not be worth it because I would never risk my relationship with you guys. But now that I've got a little disclaimer out there, let's get into the good stuff. I cannot wait to try these goodies. Yes, let's do this. I wanna see if I'm on the packaging. Like how cool would that be if I was on it? Don't think I am though guys, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to make the packaging. Rebellious fashion is okay, I know I'm not cool enough. Anyway, this is where we get the scissors involved. Yes. Oh, okay. These headbands, I love, but I also think that they kind of give me a migraine. Am I the only one that thinks that? Also, how cute are these balloons next door to me? They arrived yesterday and I thought, well I have to put them as a prop for my background. I actually don't know what to expect because they said send us over all the things that you like from the website and I won't lie I sent over like 30 links but there definitely isn't 30 items in here so let's see how much they've managed to pack in okay let's do that I'm scared I'm going to cut a piece of clothing has anyone ever done that have they ever cut into a piece of clothing I think I probably have if anyone's going to have made a boo-boo it would have been me wouldn't it also, I feel like I'm talking really quickly, so I'm going to try and slow down. I apologise. Okay, now, first up, I feel like this is kind of, like, perfectly complementing A, this headband, B, this outfit. So it's going to be no surprise that I open up this video with a co-ord, but don't blame me, blame Rebellious. So, this is adorable it's a little jumper and skirt and the reason i know exactly what it is is because have you ever seen anything so recognizable in your life look at this it's a little knitted skirt and jumper now this was a size small slash medium so i was kind of concerned that it wouldn't fit but it does actually look like it's come up reasonably small and it's very stretchy. So I do actually think this would really work. And, okay, I know I always say that co-ords you can wear separately, but you know there's some co-ords that like, they just wouldn't work separately. This a million percent would. Like this jumper would look cute with this skirt. This top would look cute with this skirt, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I thought I called that a skirt and that a jumper, but I didn't. So, okay, let's try on this bad boy. And I feel like I should do the really YouTuber thing where they go like that and they're like, let's go. Totally not that, but anyway, let's go. Okay, well, 
This is like level 100 on the adorable scale. And if this is sign of things to come, then buckle your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. We're in for a winner. Okay, yeah. I am... Oh my gosh. Why does everything stick to me? But I'm loving on this. Oh my gosh. It's like a nice amount of skin that's out. It's not like, OMG, here's my testicles. And OMG, here's my stomach. It's like a nice slit of skin but then also you could just like pull it up and then make it look more like a like actual dress but no the fabric and the quality of this is beautiful and just to pre-warn you guys i will have a discount code so stay tuned till the end to find out what that is don't go skipping or this jumper her skirt and Misha Grimes that is the most adorable thing ever will never forgive you and it kind of gives me like Balamori vibes like what's the story in Balamori wouldn't you like to know what's the story of rebellious fashion wouldn't you like to know well you're gonna find out in Misha's haul yeah some shoes now these are black gold studded split toe sandals now that is a mouthful and that really used all my pronunciation within my gob and this is in the style Ad adrita adrita i don't know Ooh. valentino jupe come at me brother or sister or grandma or mum or whoever's watching this how lush are these they smell a bit, but they probably just come from the factory, so I'm not surprised. And these are lush. Okay, these are just really nicely made. They're not too thin. They've got a nice bit of squidge in them. They've also got a little bit of a chunk, so your foot isn't completely flat. And they're just little black sandals. So nice and such an amazing Valentino dupe. And I'll probably be wearing them right now over on my Instagram, at Misha underscore Grimes. Because when you guys are watching this, I am in the States and these pose, pose, shows, will be perfect for America. Okay, now this is a piece that I have seen so many like Instagram and blogger girls in, and I'm gonna try and do that. But, ooh, this is sassy. I've been obsessed with this fabric and this like technique of sewing. Still don't know what it is, but it's still cute. It is because there's like two layers of it, so I feel like this will be reasonably thick, but hopefully, because it's quite like a synthetic fabric, it'll be quite lightweight to be able to wear in hot weather. I mean, it is long sleeves, but I do feel like long sleeves just makes everything a lot cuter, and it's this sort of neckline, so it's going to show off your like sexy decolletage. Decolletage, yeah, that's the word. We can highlight it, we can contour it. Maybe I should do a video where I try and contour boobs on. Don't know how it would work, but yeah, this is very adorable. I'm, I'm digging this. I think it will go with so much in my wardrobe. And I mean, who doesn't like a little creamy white top? Is this cream or is this white? I'm pretty sure this is cream. I'll go with cream. It's also got little floofy sleeves. That's adorable. Hello, genie in a bottle. I don't know why recently, every single thing that I try on is giving me major like genie vibes. Maybe it's because of the headband, but how nice is this top? And I think this top works better because it's in the synthetic fabric, because the sleeves like actually have some puff to them. They're not just like saggy old, I was gonna say old man boobs, but I don't really wanna picture that. Dog ears, apparently. Okay, I'll go with that, Mum. Thanks. But no, they're actually like they're quite rigid and they hold their shape. But I love this top. This is adorable. And when you've got it on, because the fabric stretches, this doesn't actually seem too thick. And I feel like the reason they probably have two layers of this is so you're not nipples galore. We don't want to be flashing Mr. Beachman. Don't know why I'm saying Beachman, but I'm picturing myself wearing this on the beach, maybe, or to dinner. I feel like it could be casual and dressy. I am loving it. So let's see what other goodies we have in store. I'm a gypsy. Are you coming with me? I feel like I sing that so much at the moment, but let's just take a moment to hear the item. Because you know when your item jingles, 
that it's going to be a good item. Okay. I do not know how I'm going to look in this. When I'm going to wear it. But did it stop me picking it? No. Mum, I'm, ah! I'm going to have glitter boobs. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, it's so noisy. Can I just tell you what this reminds me of? This takes me back to Egypt. Put the picture here. Do we now. have the picture? Well, yeah, yes, of course. Oh my gosh, okay. Somewhere. So, when I was probably about six, we went to Egypt for New Year's Eve. Mum and Dad being the loving parents that they are. Yeah, we went for more than one night. We didn't fly all the way to oh, Egypt yeah, yeah. for just New Year's Eve. As in like the time frame of New yeah. Year's. This was when I was literally six. Mum and Dad bought us a little belly dancing outfit. Yeah. And we still have them. We still have them downstairs yeah. in the dressing up box. Yeah. And the boobs still fit me because <laughs> some things never change. But isn't this giving you such like belly dancer vibes? So, if people think I should just pop to the supermarket in this. No, let no, me know. no. I think you should start some belly dancing lessons. Should I start belly dancing? Yeah. I feel like I would actually. I haven't got enough of a belly meat. <laughs> da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay, I'm just thrusting. <laughs> Bit weird. Wowzers. I feel like this is the sort of thing you need to wear when you're at a festival. So if your friends ever lose you, you can just go, guys, I'm here. Okay, I put chicken fillets in, but they're kind of just falling downwards. So I'm gonna have to whack out my fillet friends and work out how to work with them later. But just look at this. This is giving me major, like Ibiza, is it Elro? Is that the one where they all dress up really crazy? I'm not sure, but Chloe, we might have to go there just so I can wear this little like bra thingy. I'm a million percent gonna have to wear this at some point in Ibiza. So September could not come quick enough. We have actually, we are just about to book the flights, people. So it's actually happening. So I'm gonna be going on about it even more in videos, woohoo! But no, I love this. And then it's got like a really cute string at the back. And yeah, I love it. This is a million percent a my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, damn right, it's better than yours. Apart from obviously my milkshake brings no one to the yard, but maybe that's because I only drink water. And coffee of course, like that's obligatory. Yeah. Also, I feel like you guys are probably like, is Mother Grimes just always around? Because she, she does always she seem is. to like pop in and just be there. She is, she's, she's always by my side, but she does work. She does, she does run her own company, I promise. Anyway, let's get back to the items. Oh, okay, we've got another white top. Now this is gonna be, you're gonna kill me because I've got another white top. You can never have too many white tops. They're classic as mum says, a bit like mm -hmm. you really. Joking, love did, you. Did you spot the silence? <gasps> okay, so look at oh, this. Oh, that is look how cute. adorable. Hold on, Papa Grimes wants me. Oh, bye. Yeah. Okay, so this is a little off the shoulder top. It does look quite big, but then it does have these little like ties. So hopefully we can make it work because maybe it just looks big because it's kind of like an off the shoulder vibe. But this looks like something you would literally get from like a really expensive Instagram boutique. I am digging it. Like rebellious fashion, you honestly have stepped up your game with the pieces, with the quality, with everything. And I am very, very impressed. So yes, let's try this on. Oh, oh, okay. Oh no. Okay, so I finally got this beauty on. I won't lie to you all. It was quite complicated because I basically had to undo all of this to like get it on and I didn't want to mess up my already messed up hair slash my makeup. So yes, I finally got it on and it was so worth it. Look at this. Like look at that detailing. The crochet and the lace looks so expensive and just teamed like a little denim mini skirt. It's just adorable. I love this. I think it looks so expensive. Very literally smilling. I'm cupping my breasticles. Let's give them a squeeze and move on to the next item. Gosh, guys, I'm so strange. Oh, also, this is the back. It's also, I feel like I say also a lot as well. It's better than saying like though, isn't it? So, I say so a lot as well. Okay, Misha, snap out of it. This actually like stays in place. I know normal bardos can be really annoying because the elastic is like right on your arms, 
but there's actually no elastic on this around like that area so i'm free to move wherever i want like me and the balloons can have a punch up oh no actually i don't want to break it imagine that imagine i burst my own bubble <laughs> anyway yes this is lovely i'm in love with it wow this is stunning guys i can hear more jingling okay mum is actually gonna kill me because she's gonna be like misha when are you gonna wear this mama grimes don't you actually i'm not gonna lie i saw someone i think on the rebellious website wearing this over a t-shirt and i actually thought it looked very cool so let's try that out oh there's lots of this is very well made i've had these little chain bras in the past especially ones from primark and i thought they were going to literally snap on me but this one is like industrial strength it's one of those like queen bras but we are going to try it over a t-shirt probably wouldn't recommend a blue t-shirt but i feel like that actually looks quite cute maybe with like a white tee i think it could work do we reckon i mean i need to like figure out how to do it up but can we picture I will try it on without the t-shirt on as well, just so you got, I mean, obviously I'll do it up properly because imagine if you went out like that. I feel like this is the sort of thing, you either wear like a little bralette underneath or you wear like underneath a silk shirt with like quite a lot of bottoms. So like this is so bare, you kind of need to make up for it in that department. But this is so cute and it is such good quality i might try and see if you could just put nipple covers on with it but don't judge me if i flash one or two hopefully not but you never know okay disclaimer if you see anything that looks like a nipple it is not a nipple it is a nipple cover i can promise you that but i am in love with this this is insane like it fits so nicely mum's managed to clip it so that it like fits everyone's body shape oh i've never felt so cool in a piece of metal covering my dignity from the world and i know i a million percent know this accentuates my lack of boob but I really do not mind. Like, I think it looks really cool. I probably wouldn't wear it with a denim skirt, but I mean, I just, I love this concept. Who would not want to wear a see-through mesh, metal, sparkly thingy on their bosom? I need to stop hitting my hand because it actually really hurts. And I've got the packaging stuck to me, but no, this is in Insane. This is probably my favourite item so far. Who knew a scrap of metal with the tiniest bit of sequin? Can we see that's nipple cover? Not nipple. I pinky swear. That's not a pinky, that's fingers crossed. I pinky swear. No, I am a digging on this bad boy. Final item. Okay. It's a play suit. So we've got a right broad spectrum of pieces here from Rebellious. And this is adorable. All the fabrics are quite like synthetic-y, but you can't see it. So I'm not really too bothered about that. So yeah, this is cute. It's got one of those necklines that I really like where it just ties at the front. I think it's really flattering. And just look how adorable this is. Like, is there anything bad you could say about this? just like it's so cute and i cannot wait to wear this it's in a size six but it looks quite stretchy so i feel like it could fit multiple sizing but let's try on the final item nah -uh. nah -uh. i am in love with this like love i've literally loved every single item i am so surprised but pleasantly surprised i feel like i had high expectations but rebellious fashion have actually blown them because is this not adorable and i know people will be like oh she's doing a sponsored video so she's really easily pleased no 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 you cannot argue with the level of adorable that this little play suit is i 
actually can't. This is the cutest thing. I think I need to tie the top a wee bit tighter just so that no nipple cover comes out. But like, look at the little sleeves. Oh my gosh, I'm like a little sailor in America. Like all aboard boat Misha. I feel like Misha would make quite a good boat name and I swear all boats are female for some reason. So that works. But then, if you didn't know, Misha in Russian is a boy's name, but in Polish it's a girl's name. So yeah, I'm a quarter Polish by the way, in case you didn't know. But then I'm also a quarter Russian, so hmm, who knows, let's wrap up. Can I also just mention this play suit gives me a little bit of bosom and a little bit of underboob. This makes me love it even more. Okay, Misha, shut up now. Oh, I've just remembered I have a discount code. Let me check my emails. OMG, so I have a treat for you guys. Not only is Rebellious Fashion incredibly reasonably priced, but I have a discount code for 35% off. 35 that is bargain central so that is with the code misha g 35 easy peasy breezy beautiful yes okay enjoy shopping and i deeply apologize that i do so many hauls and if you buy lots of it i feel sorry for your bank account but to be fair when i do these hauls i do not expect everyone to go out and buy every single item i know that is totally unrealistic i'm in the very fortunate position that this video is sponsored by rebellious fashion so i do get to keep all the goodies which i am so grateful for but yeah don't think that you guys ever have to go out and buy everything because that is so not true even if you pick up one piece or even zero pieces you guys are learning about brands like rebellious fashion that need Need a little bit more attention because they rock okay let's go before i flash my non-existent underboob but i hope you guys have enjoyed this haul and enjoyed testing out rebellious fashion with me i can hand on heart say i am very impressed and i may be popping over to the website to use my discount code Yes, I may be doing that. Anyway, so I hope you have enjoyed. I will link all the items down below so you guys can check them out. I will put my discount code there as well and I will love you and leave you. So make sure to do a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. At least I better. Bye bye. That's not a threat by the way. Like I don't want to come across threatening because I'm the opposite of threatening. <laughs> bye.